Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I hope you guys had good holidays if you took time off. Um, I did take like about two weeks off and it helped a lot. I didn't like ship anything. I had my shop open, but I said I wasn't shipping till January 3rd. Um, I replied to some emails, but like I stayed off of social media mostly and it was just really helpful. So I'm feeling recharged, ready to go. Um, there was like a slow trickle of orders that came in while I was away, like people who were okay with waiting till January 3rd for shipping. So let's jump into those today. There's some for a band of weirdos that we're going to start with. All right, come on. So the first order for today is Home on the Strange patch for Emily. Dun, 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 dun. Let's pull this back out. Whoa, one handed is hard. Yeah, it's been a minute since I packed orders. I don't remember what to do. Oh, you get a business card. And this. <laughs> I am forgetting everything. First you gotta wrap it up. Okay, I'm back, I remember now. I need two hands for this. Uh -huh. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. And this goes here. Packing slip, business card, check. Done, I did it. I don't wanna show you her address. I'm back, baby. I'm gonna do this off camera so you don't see the address. Next. Okay, so we have a Witch and Familiar pin pet color set for Brienne. Brienne, Brienne. And this. Thank you so much for your order. You are awesome. Got a Truth Is Out There pin from Marcos. Looks good. Hmm. One handed again is very tricky, but I want to vlog, damn it! And we have a Weirdos Together patch for, um, forgive me if I butcher your name. Arakely or Erasely. Thank you very much. Secret information. We have another Home on the Strange patch for Cody. Thank you, Cody. The second to last Thread Wolf back patch for Robert. Kayla got an If You Really Bug Me, then I'll say goodbye. And Letty, I like that name, got a lunatic patch. I just drew the perfect butt heart. Mackenzie got the last unicorn skeleton back patch. What else did she get? Home and the Strange patch and Sassy Squatch. Good. And Nikki bought the last Three Eyed Wolf back patch. So that's it for the back patches for now. I don't know when or if they'll come back, so I'm glad they have good homes. What else did she get? They 
Thank you so much for the awesome order, Nikki. Okay, so Tyler ordered a mystery misfit pen. Let's do this. What did you get, Tyler? Dun 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 dun. dun. You got Best Witches Friendship pin set. Yay, that's awesome because these are sold out. Cool. Okay, we ordered some other things too. The Hot Mess Monster pin. Oh no, you ordered the last, <laughs> the last Best Witches Friendship set. So we are gonna redo your Mystery Misfix. That ain't right. Okay, got that looking cute. And this is going back in the machine. So someone can get this sold out, the bad boy. Okay, let's try this again. Destiny, shall reveal. Whoa, your pin. It is Amethyst Crystal Pin. Pretty. Perfect for your witchy vibes. Okay. Lorraine also got four Mystery Misfit pins. Over here. Let's just grab them all. And then more. Got the other two. All right, Lorraine, let's open them up. So the first one you got is the Truth Is Out There flip pin, alien proof. Okay. <laughs> the next one you got is oh, we're gonna have to redo that one. Okay, putting that aside. The next one is. Best Witches Friendship Set. Super rare. And then the last one is... Should I Stay or Should I Go? Clash Stranger Things mashup pin. Okay, let's do the last one for you, Lauren. Okay. Okay, so... What has fate bestowed upon you? today you got a witch pin love it cool thank you lorraine oh you ordered more stuff let me grab it you got this pin and this pin okay i think this is the last order i'm gonna do for tonight because it's getting kind of late and I managed to backtrack my sleep schedule over the holidays while I was staying with family and get up early. So I want to just keep it up. I need to go to bed. So we have two Aurora Bore Hell Yes patches for Jana. Thank you so much, Jana. I really appreciate it. Oh, I was trying to get all smooth with that. All right. Oh my god, I can't, just can't be smooth. <laughs> Okay, so I want to take a break from talking about orders to share some exciting news with you. Um, so you've heard me talk about Pin Club before and how it's hosted on my Patreon. I also have Sticker Club and like a membership tier on Patreon. Um, so after lots of thinking, I've decided to move my Pin Club to my own website. So bandofweirdos.com is the new home for Pin Club. I was torn about this because I really do love Patreon. The main reason I'm switching is because I use a program called ShipStation for shipping my orders and they just kind of like flow from my different shops into there. But I couldn't do that with Patreon. I was having to export into a grid and then import and it was kind of clunky. And I figure because I'm already paying for like my own Shopify site, Paying the extra fees for Patreon to host it was a little tough for me. Um, so it just makes more sense for me, like business-wise, um, income-wise, to host it myself. And I'm very excited about that. Um, the sticker club that was on Patreon, I'm going to discontinue that, which is bittersweet. Um, but I did have a lot more interest in the pin club. So it is nice at the same time to just simplify on what's working. And I decided, like... Some of the extra content that I had on Patreon, like behind the scenes, um, discounts, early access sometimes, like misfit sales, things like that. 
I'm going to move those to my mailing list. So I already have an email list built and I'm not really like utilizing it that well beyond product launches. So I'm feeling really good about like that being the place for VIP content. <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that sounds so stupid. Sign up for my mailing list. Like I'm great at marketing, aren't I? <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to send them once or twice a month. I wanna experiment like with how often, but yeah, go to bandofweirdos.com and you'll see, if you scroll down, you'll see a place to sign up for the mailing list. And I'd love to have you there. I'm gonna make it fun. And the mailing list as well as Instagram and here on YouTube, you'll see previews of the themes for Pink Club before the end of the sign up window. So I'll show you a preview now of January's theme if you're interested. Um, you have until the end of the month to sign up and then they will ship in mid-February. The theme is now, it's a witchy pin club. So I'm super excited about that. I feel like they'll still be like the cute and spooky creatures I had going before in the pin club, but now we'll have witchy elements and quotes and puns and um, moon and stars kind of vibes and stuff like that. So you can find it at Band of Weirdos as well. And just let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to packing up a Band of Weirdos wholesale order. So this shop got six noise pins. Do you hear? It sounds like... You guys, this is what the wind sounds like in my studio when it's like mildly windy out. So it's going to seem like we're in the Wizard of Oz or something. Bear with me. Okay, so six of these. I got six hot mess monster pins. Six just a girl pins. I'm just a girl in the world. Three, four, five, six. You didn't know this was also a music channel, did you? Six, the truth is after pins, which you need to put onto cards. They got six normals not in the cards. Pins. And and lastly, five Sassy Squatch pins. Okay, let's get these packed up. I feel like this should be a good size box. <laughs> Stuck together. Oh my god. I'm very smooth with this, can you tell? And it's too tall for the camera. I like the size of the box because you can like stack them height wise and they don't, um, the pins, they don't move around a lot. It's just a good size for a pin box. It's going to be a perfect fit. Okay. I mean, it'd be cool if there was a sixth one there to make it totally even. Um, if we're going to be crazy like that. Oh my gosh, it's destiny. All right, so now we are gonna pack up some Moss Love kit orders. If this is your first video and you're like, what's Moss Love? It's my other business, uh, terrariums. I just recently reopened it, so let me, let me show you some stuff. Let's go pack some orders. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Okay, so we're gonna do a gnome terrarium kit. And this one is a gift from Kevin to Katie. Actually, you know what's crazy? So I got these labels made like years ago when I first started making the kits. 2015. Yeah, and I was living in Minneapolis. Aw, uh, obviously I made this kit like a few weeks ago, but yeah, that's when I first started making kits in general. Good memories. Got our invisible Moss Love tape. This is from Moss Love. And we've got our red fragile sticker. Ugh. I really need some pink ones. When these run out, 
Okay, next is a dinosaur kit for Fallon. It's got a cute little T-Rex in there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next. Next, we need cushioning. Oh, what a great view that is. When you get your terrariums, you can always let me know if you have any questions about, like, unpacking them or making the kits or anything. Just let me know. They do have instructions inside and everything, but, you know, you never know. So we have another gnome kit for Bethany. Thank you, Bethany. And Madeline ordered a fox terrarium kit. Look at that cutie. So I'm also going to ship this alien terrarium for Simone. And then tomorrow I have six more terrariums to make, so we'll do that together. Wednesday we are in the garage and we're gonna make five terrariums. I'm sorry for the echoey sound. Now that I'm back from the holidays, I need to buy some more rocks and I'm getting low on sheet moss, so this is the sheet moss. I was supposed to buy that over the holidays and I didn't because I just did nothing, which was needed. I think I'll probably pick a day like maybe Monday next week or something and just make a new batch of terrariums and just have those listed on Etsy so they're ready to go. No, no little stick. I don't think so. Leaving a little mound in the back for a hill. So these are designs that are already on my website. So they're pre-designed, so after I get to the moss layer, I'm looking at pictures from my website to recreate them. That's why it's better to make them in advance. Like a bunch of one layout at one time, you know? So I'm leaving a little space there and I'll be adding rocks. So next is the fox. I think I'm gonna take these two and pack them up upstairs. Um, the mail pickup hasn't come yet today, so I'm gonna see if I can put them on the porch. And then take these to the post office. Okay, now we're up in my studio again. Trying to get these two on the porch. Okay, so I got two on the porch. Um, usually they come earlier for pickup, so that was a nice surprise. So I'm gonna make two fairy terrariums and a big, big foot. A big, big foot. Oh no. Well, at least we got a couple out and then I'll go to the post office for the other three. Less to carry is always good because these are kind of big boxes. Oh, Ollie's protecting the house. Okay, so I made the other two Bigfoot terrariums that need to go out tomorrow. Um, I dropped those other packages off at the post office. Let's just do a little tree test. Cute! And you can really put like the figurines wherever you want, but that's where I like to put it. That looks super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna spend the rest of the night um, doing some new Band of Weirdos orders and a few wholesale orders I have. And yeah, I will check back in with you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, I'm still packing orders, but 
can we just take a minute to appreciate this wholesale order from Strange Ways? They are Alex, the owner, is awesome. If you ever see this, Alex, thank you so much. It means a lot. Okay, I'm packing this stuff up. I think I'm actually going to end the vlog there. I have, um, I'm just going to play like catch up tomorrow with admin stuff and packing like the remainder of the orders from the break. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to make like a teaching kind of video about. I was thinking about doing some like how I grew wholesale or the benefits of Shopify site versus Etsy or like things like that. I don't know when exactly I will, but sometime soon. So, Kind of want to like mix them back and forth with studio vlogs, at least for a little bit. Um, see how that goes. So let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to know about. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye!